apologize for the technical difficulties. We're back. Collected now, chested nicely, but the man Ricardo Henry saw it all the way. And now surging forward. Look at that speed. And they're trying to find the, the man, Tajay Dixon. Collected by Wayne Williams, however. Intercepted well by Tajay Dixon. Tajay Dixon on the ball now. Trying to get by Allen. Nicholas sends it back for Cameron. Cameron sends it further for Nicholas. Nicholas on the ball now. Finding Tajay Dixon. He's being challenged by Pedler. The referee says no foul. And now Barbican with possession once more. Tajay Dixon on the ball now. Turning by Andrew Pedler. What a skillful player Tajay Dixon is. But would have to do one better and put the ball into the back of the net. Akai Blake over to Thomas. Kimar Thomas on the ball now. Akai Blake once more sends it back for Mario McDonald. McDonald sends it across to find Naeem Cameron who sends it further across and find Joel Nicholas. Nicholas on the ball now. Sends it forward. Just a four possession. Tajay Dixon loses it. Pedler back for Watson. And that was a defensive clearance there by Desmond Watson. Headed on by Cameron. And it goes into touch. And it will be a throw for Barb for Ramona. Sorry. Moses. Allen. He goes forward. Turns. Finds Moses. Moses back for Watson. Watson. Sends it forward. His ball intercepted. And Allen with the defensive work there. Moses. And he sends it over for Pedlo. Who sends it forward for Wayne Williams. Williams on the ball now. Chips it forward. Trying to find Anderson. Headed on by Cameron. Ricardo Henry now chests it nicely. Trying to get by Pedlo. But it's too much. And Ramona have possession once more. Damian Anderson. Forward for Gamoy Sibbles. Sibbles on the ball now. Turns. Referee says no foul. He will challenge. And he goes into touch for a throw. Take it quickly. Trying to find Anderson. But those two tall figures, McDonald and Cameron, don't think he would have found him easily. Andrew White, no. For Real Moon, for Barbican, actually. And Kimar Thomas collects it. White sends it forward. Ross Romain Husang. On the ball now. His ball goes into touch and it will be a throw. And two substitutions for Ramona. And so the two players that will come on is Duncan McKenzie and Matthew Bell. Two young players. And Ryan Reed is the man coming off. Not 100% sure who is the other player that came off as well. So I'm going to figure out in a second who came off for Real Mona, for Matthew Bell. Mackenzie sends it for, for Williams, who sends it across for Pedler. Pedler on the ball now. Just drifting forward. Oh, and that was a beautiful turn there. Chested down and an opportunity, but... Caught offside. 
So it will be a free kick for Barbican. 80 and a half minutes have elapsed. Less than 10 minutes to go. And it seems to be Gamoy Sibbles that came off for Matthew Bell. So it's Gamoy Sibbles that comes off. And Matthew Bell comes on for Real Mona. And it's the man Ricardo Davis. He came off for Damian English for Barbican. Challenge there by Matthew Bell. Still being challenged. The referee says it's a throw. This time for well, it was for Real Mona. Headed on by Williams to Allen. Allen on the ball now. Taken off by Henry. Anderson across to McKenzie. McKenzie over to Pedler. Pedler on the ball now. Looks to send this one inside the 18 yard box. Defended well by McDonald. Will be taken down by Thomas. Now it's Joel Nicholas. Joel Nicholas sends that ball forward. Unable to find his teammate, the man English. But they do have it once more. And I'm not sure if that's a defensive clearance or a forceful pass. Eighty-two and a half minutes are gone in this contest. So we were shot that went over the bar. And it will be a goal kick taken now. Collected. And a block there by Matthew Bell. And goes into touch and it will be a throw for Barbican. So as we're approaching 90 minutes, Barbican will be heading into the quarterfinals in style. On 26 points, maybe. That is nine points more than a real Mona, who might lose their second spot. And they'll be looking to solidify it, but not if they lose here today. If they get a positive result, at least a draw. Then they would have secured second place. And then there would still be a battle. But now it would be for third and fourth place. Between Malines United and Med Forest. Boston Ford now for Moses. Moses sends it forward but he's caught in an offside position. And so it will be a free kick for Barbican. So Barbican just trying to cool things down here. Headed by Watson, collected by Henry. His ball almost intercepted. And the English tried to go forward, but met Allen. And now it's Moses. Moses on the ball now. Ball sent forward by Duncan. A very good ball to Phillips. Phillips turns. Oh, just gets by the player very easily. And a ball sent across now to Allen. Allen does a little flick. And the referee says it's a foul. And look at those two young kids. A brilliant ball by Duncan McKenzie and a fancy pass by Matthew Bell. To try and find his teammate, Jordan Moses, but there's a foul, so it will be a free kick. And, and that's why I try to emphasize so much on how these kids have been playing. They've been playing like they're so experienced and 
is it a case now where we're seeing where the the schoolboy players have been improving year by year and a lot of those players actually they're on the senior team as we see a ball sent forward now trying to advance and uh, Desmond Watson taking care of things. Wynn Williams takes it down nicely. Sends it across to Duncan McKenzie. McKenzie looking for a pass. Oh, gets by the Barbican player pretty easily. And now it's Allen. And that was a miscommunication there between Allen and Phillips. Goes into touch and it will be a throw for Barbican. And again, I say a lot of these players, Jamoy Topi, a young man, I've seen O'Neill Fisher play as I went to St. George's College as a student in 2008 when I was in the eighth grade. And Alex Marshall being called up to the team. And there's so many young players that have been called up to the team that have been so dangerous in the schoolboy football level or on that level. And they've made the transition so well. Peter Lee Vassal, who is now at LAFC, Los Angeles Football Club for the MLS. And he's applying it straight there. And we see how well they have been playing. Is it a case where the players have been improving because of the way the coaches coach are the coaches different style of play improving these young football players Lamar Walker has performed so well for Portmore United he was a bench player last season and now he's a starter for Portmore United won the Da Costa Cup with Clarendon College actually beating Cornwall College and they were reduced to 10 men went to the National Stadium and defeated Kingston College for the All-Ireland title and Amelia Rousseau he's playing alongside Andre Lewis who was drafted by Vancouver Whitecaps Andre Lewis went to Portland Timbers And that was an offside call there by Moses. Free kick, take it quickly. Akai Blake. Four now to Henry. Henry looking for a pass and finding to Jay Dixon, but he's offside. And it will be a free kick for Real Mona. 88 and a half minutes gone. Less than a minute and a half to go here in this Kasafa Super League matchup. This is the final match for the preliminary round for Real Mona and for Barbican. Barbican, we can safely say, have secured top spot. There's no team that's mathematically able to pass them. Ball swung too hard there. And it won't catch any Barbican or real Mona player. And I should say any Barbican player either because that was too much for everybody. So, winding down to the final seconds of this contest. Real Mona. They're just looking to gather themselves and prepare themselves for the quarterfinals and i was told that the first place of each zone the two zones zone a and zone b and to jay dixon to ricardo henry and a ball sent across for to jay dixon but too much on it and ricardo henry couldn't supply the finishing pass for the man to jay dixon and it would have been all smiles here in the crowd at the
Content Spring football field. As Tajay Dixon, as I said, a very skillful and quick and agile player is Tajay Dixon. And he's a, certainly a fan favorite here at the Content Spring football field. And rightfully so. What an exciting player. Tajay Dixon on the ball, heads it for Ricardo Henry. Ricardo Henry gets by Watson, gives it to Tajay Dixon. Tajay Dixon back for Thomas. Thomas across and finds his teammate Damian English. English on the ball now. And Tajay Dixon, oh, brilliantly chested down. And an opportunity. And that is the second goal. It's done and dusted. What a brilliant goal there by Tajay Dixon. The fan favorite delivers. And it's Barbican 2. Real Mona nil here at the Cunson Spring football field. Brilliant ball there. Sent over from Damian English to Tajay Dixon. And he finished it off in style. Left the keeper P Knight for dead. And that is that. So a 90. Second minute strike means a sure three points for Barbican. Look at that. Pure skill and agility by Tajay Dixon. It's no wonder he's the crowd favorite. And so it is Barbican 2. Real Mona Nil here at the Content Spring football field. He comes, he delivers. And it's no different tonight. And we're approaching the end of the game. Referee looking at his watch. He does again. Ball swung inside the 18 yard box, headed out by McDonald. Tajay Dixon will try to latch on once more, and he does. Beautiful skill there to head it on, and it's still Tajay Dixon. Turns, sends it across to Ricardo Henry. Will this be the third? And the keeper is left for dead once more. And not the best option there turn from the keeper but unable to finish it Tajay Dixon has been so effective since he came onto the field and what a player is he Tajay Dixon Thomas and that is the end of that And Husang took advantage of a situation. Tajay Dixon came on and was effective and got on the score sheet. So at the end of 90 minutes, the second half is over. And Barbican, they secured their top spot with fine style as they defeat Real Mona by two goals to nil. So stay tuned. We're going to cut to commercial. And when we come back, post game interviews. <laughs> We are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears. And we are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. 
they're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth. This match has turned up several gears. And post-game interviews here with the fan favorite, Tajay Dixon. How are you doing, sir? I'm great. Doing good. All right. You razzle and you dazzle on the field. And that is the likeness of everybody else. But not only did you do that for the second straight week, you have put the ball into the back of the net. How crucial do you think you have to be in terms of skill, pace, agility, and goal-scoring ability going forward for Barbican in the quarterfinals, playing the fourth place in Zone B for the Kasafa Super League? Yeah, even again, I feel very great knowing that you have a quarterfinal coming up. In a few weeks, Barbican FC will want to do our best to prepare to the National League. So, me personally in the team, I have to do my best so Barbican FC can win the title. You've got to tell me how how is it that that is is it that you practice some of the styles that you do because you're so you're so effective when 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 you run on the ball. Your your speed management is exceptional and you get by players easily. Is, is it something you practice in training or it's just something that you're born with? Or it's, it's something naturally coming to you? Yeah, honestly, something that I practice in training. Like, every time you're going to training, you have to try something new to come in the game because a lot of players know me, know how I play. So every week I have to try to do something different so we can be victorious. And then last question. It just eluded you guys to pr be promoted to the Red Stripe Premier League last season. You want to do one better and be promoted this season. How motivated and confident are you guys that next season you'll be playing in the Red Stripe Premier League? If we have this team till the end of the season, trust me, Barbican FC will win the league. If we are injury free, no one can stop us this season. We are doing our best. We are going in this league and we are going in the Premier League next season. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, man. Take care of yourself. Yeah. All right, that was Tajay Dixon for Barbican Football Club. So at the end of this contest, Barbican, they sealed it and they won by two goals to nil. Don't forget tomorrow, Kasafa Super League doubleheader action here at the Constant Spring Football Field. So on behalf of myself, Christopher Scott, the man in charge, Brandon Carvalho, and the cameraman, Janoy Lewis, Janoy Powell, it's so long from Constant Spring Football Field. Tomorrow, Kasafa Super League action. And we are ready. The role is to continue to drive for the development of the game here. Although players are selected from clubs abroad, they were developed in the league. They're really quality players and they have really good attitude and you get your money's worth.